yesterday. Not the peace that the world gives us, but the peace that you give us, oh God, that will remain, that will keep us so we can persevere and press our way through, oh God. Even
drugs, that were caught up in sex, that were caught up in things that are against God and what he called us to be. How many of you after you tried different things? How many tried Jesus and found out that there was nobody like him? Yeah. I'm not thinking Danish or Romanian or Russian. I'm talking about Jesus. Yeah. How many Jesus followers do we have? How many of you feel all this word?
we thank you this day. You're a mighty God. You're a mighty God. Your name is the God of all
You need to focus on giving God some praise. that miss Jesus. They would be right in the presence of the Lord and wouldn't honor him as who he is and miss Jesus. Upon missing Jesus, they miss their blessing. Some of you are sitting right in this service where the Spirit of the Lord is and you're not even praising. You're looking around, you're distracted, you're thinking about something else. Just get your mind on the Lord. Say, Lord, get my mind so I can give you praise. It's a dangerous thing to be in the presence of the Lord and not give Him glory. Here's what I do when I come to the house of the Lord, I come to praise Him. In spite of what I'm dealing with, in spite of what I'm going through, I still praise Him. In spite of, because the Bible didn't give you a the only qualifier to praise God is to have breath in your body. That's the only qualifier. Yes. Only qualifier. You gotta have breath in. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't miss your blessing coming to the house of the Lord and your mouth is shut. Open your even the young people. I'm encouraging you. Open your mouth. Young people are chewing gum. You can take the gum out so you can praise the Lord. Come on, come on, because this is this is this is the Lord. We're in the presence of the King, and He deserves praise. I said He deserves praise. He is worthy. I can praise God for you. You can praise God for me. But let everything that have breath. in the building of God. God, give him a prayer. Come on, Judah, life. Come on, Judah. Come on, Judah. Open your mouth, Judah. Come on, give him glory in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. God, you're worthy. You're worthy. We come to bless your name, Jesus. We come to bless him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can care less about the idols that the world has set up. They erected a, a statue for Kobe this week in Los Angeles. I could care less. Kobe didn't do nothing for me. And I like Kobe playing, don't get me wrong, but Kobe didn't die. He didn't die for me. He didn't die for you. He just dribbled a basketball. Don't benefit me none. Come on. All these people in the audience standing as they celebrated and unveiled the statue of Kobe. When the Lord come, every statue that they erected is going to be broken in pieces. Because he said, I'm the only, I'm the greatest. Michael Jordan got a statue in Chicago. That statue is going to crumble when the Lord appears. Don't erect no statue of me. I ain't done nothing for you. But if you're going to erect a statue in your heart, erect Jesus. Allow Jesus at the throne of your heart. He is the greatest. He is the greatest. Not, not LeBron. They argue all the time on social media and in the sports arena. Who's the greatest? Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. Let me tell you who the greatest. None of them the greatest. Muhammad Ali thought he was the greatest, but you see what happened to him. You so great, you should sustain yourself. Baby, you can't cons you, you and I can't sustain ourselves. If he was so great, his body wouldn't have went down. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Jesus went down 
But on the third day, he got up again. He is the greatest. He is the greatest. Jesus is the greatest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This family, friends, and neighbors day. And I want to thank God for each family member that came out, those that came out upon the invite of a family member. I've got three cards with me. I'm going to read these cards to welcome some first-time guests. Ebony Gilmore is with us. Where's Ebony at? Ebony, would you stand? Come on, y'all. Would y'all help me thank God for Ebony being with us? We're glad to have you, Ebony. She is the guest of Cheryl Williams. And then we have Darren. Is it Joshua Street? Who's Darren? Where's Darren? Darren, you're a guest of Darion. My great nephew, would you stand up so we can welcome you? Come on, welcome him. Yeah. Darren, you know you got a Bible name, don't you? You know your middle name's a Bible name. You know Joshua was a great man of God. Amen. I want you to know that. Your name speaks volumes. Amen. In fact, I would have people call you Joshua. Not that they think wrong with Darren. But I say, call me Joshua, because every time they call you Joshua, they're calling you something great. Do the life goes I'm talking about. I just preached the message about the power of a name. Your name carries power, and God honors that name. Powerful name. We're glad to have you with us today, son. Give, give God a praise for him. And then we have Amiria Diaz. Diaz, did I say it right? Amira Diaz. Amira Diaz. Where's Amira Diaz at? Amir, I'm so sorry for messing up your name. Would I help me to thank God for Amir being with us today? She is a guest of Charles. Come on, y'all, help me thank God for our first time guest. I'm glad to see these young people here today. I said it's good to see young people. Amen. It's even better to see young people praising the Lord. We're so glad to have you. And we welcome you to Judah Light. At this time, we're going to receive the offering before we get into the word of the Lord this morning and this afternoon. Amen. We're going to receive. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm blessed. I'm so excited about the minister that are going to minister the word on today. So excited to stay up here. Unless you have to give, make sure you present. Go ahead and do it. Get that out of the way in Jesus' name. And then come on back up. You should have that prepared before you said, come in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Always try to have that prepared before any service starts. Bring, make sure your gift, make sure your gift is ready. Amen. 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 Everybody stand. Even if you're not walking, I need everybody standing. You may need to walk so people can come through your aisles. In Jesus' name. Amen.
can't sing, everybody can sing. And some people can't sing good. But the Bible didn't say you had to sound good. It just said make a joyful noise unto the Lord. One more time. Could not talk, they could speak. He raised from the dead. Yes. 
But then he went to the cross and died. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful that the yes. Lord died. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, but he said these words before he died. He said, no man takes my life. I lay it down. Here's the nice thing. He didn't just die. Because a lot of people have died. He didn't just die. He died for the sins of the world. He died for us to be saved. He died for us to live abundant life before him. And we give him glory. We give him honor. Thank you, Lord. This afternoon we have our ministers in the house. And they're going to go in this order. First we have Minister Victoria Molina. She's going to be ministering first. She's going to be followed by Elder Clarence Taylor. She's going to be followed by Minister Bergy Outlaw. Our assistant pastor's wife. And be followed by Elder Derek Gaddy. Senior. And be followed by Lady Donetta Berry. Who are celebrating 15 years of marriage this week. Hallelujah. God is good. I tell you what, God has really favored me. And taking up the rear is none other than our assistant pastor, Elder Gregory. Outlaw. I want everybody to say, preach the word. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a praise that she comes. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Come on, give the Lord a praise. And we're praying for each of them. The theme for the day service is the greatest of all time. Somebody say the greatest of all time. Jordan 
uh, was very, very good in what he did. Yes. Amen. But he only could be great in one thing. All right. My God Come was on. great in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said Mike Tyson was great because with one low, he could knock you out. All right. But my God, Amen. hallelujah, yes. knocked out legions of demons oh. with one low. Yes, yes. 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 that's the God that I serve. Right. Hallelujah. They said Ali was great. <laughs> Ali said I float like a butterfly and speak like a bee. <laughs> but he couldn't save me.
Soul Sunday, not Super Bowl Sunday. Amen. Um, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of people cheering, but they're not cheering for Jesus. All right, all right. All right. I only have a few minutes, so I'm going to ask you to please turn with me to Deuteronomy, the 10th chapter in the 17th verse. Yes, Lord. When you have it, please say amen. It's not for me, it's, it's for the praise goes to God because yes. Uh, yes. It, it's not for me. Thank you. But I'm going to read into your hearing. The word of God says, For the Lord your God is God of gods, yes. and Lord of lords, yes. a great God, yes. a mighty, yes. and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh rewards. And that word rewards means that it does not take bribes. All right, come on. That lets me know that we can't buy our way into his presence. Come on. Come on. Come on. If I may, Pastor, if I would, I would say that on this Sunday around this country and uh, around the world, there are many gatherings. Uh -huh. um, some to cheer on the, the combatants on the football field. All and, right. You know, some of us may have our favorite teams. It might be right. the Chiefs. It might be the 49ers. But I'm here to say that, you know, I am cheering for a team. I'm cheering for my guys. Yeah. 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 You know, some of the media outlets say that there might be upwards of 20, 30 million people that will be tuned into the game, even some of us in this room may. Yeah. But what I would like to say is that as they go to watch that, we should be still in our form of praise. Right. Right. Many will stand, many will cheer, many will make idols and false gods and worship over the players. But as Minister Molina said, they can't do anything for them. They can't save them. They can't heal them. They can't bring anything from them. And if you want it, you can go spend hundreds of dollars to go see them, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, how glorious it would be if that many souls were to on, stand on. and proclaim yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Right. What sound would it ring around the world if they were proclaim Jesus as the greatest of all time? Come on. And shout it with the Shabbat prayers. Come on, yeah. Glory to God. There may be even some that will try to argue crucifix. I had the fortune in my lifetime to, you know, listen to many, many uh, different players and, you know, arguments about who is the greatest. I heard Muhammad Ali, as it was just recently said, that he proclaimed himself to be the greatest of all time. We heard truly great. For the right. man that I know is Jesus is truly great. Yes. Yeah. 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 Of these men that I mentioned, they were defeated. All right. But I know one man that was never, never defeated. defeated. Yeah. Yeah. The grave could not even hold him back. When I look at the theme of this day, I studied greatest, and I found that the root word of great comes from the Hebrew language, and it comes from the word gadol, uh -huh. which has meaning of several attributes, mighty God, mm -hmm. awesome God, and throughout the Holy Scriptures, we also come to know him as amazing God, Amen. fabulous, yes. incredible God, right. excellent, oh, how excellent. Oh, how excellent. Hey, yes. hey. I surmise that if our Lord and Savior was here today in his witness of himself, he would say that, he would describe himself as he did in the Holy Scriptures. If I could, Pastor, I'm going to just read just a few more and then I'm going to be done. But if you would, just uh, look at Isaiah, the 44th chapter, in, in the 8th verse, it says, Fear ye not, neither be afraid, have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it, yea, are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Come on. Yes. There is no God I know, not any. So there is nobody other than him. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 44 and 6 says, Thus said the Lord, yes. the King of Israel, Come on. and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no other. Or is that as it is written in Revelation 1 and 8? I am Alpha on, yeah. and Omega, yes. the beginning yes. and the ending, yes. saith the Lord, which is and which was 
and which is to come, the Almighty. In conclusion, I just want to leave you with this emphasis. Jesus, the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. 
through the decades, man. Uh, what sports you looking at? So many people, if you're looking at football, they say, uh, 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 Wayne, uh, when you look at hockey, they say Wayne Gretzky's the greatest. When you look at a football, they say Tom Brady's the greatest. Depending on what sport you're looking at, basketball, they say Michael Jordan's the greatest. Depending on how many rings you got, depending on how many trophies you got, depending on how many medals you won. But my, my, my greatest of all time, his, his, his greatest was measured by the three nails that was Stuck in his arm. His greatest, his, his greatest was measured by the three nails that was stuck in his arm, in his hands and his feet. His, his, his only crown he got was a crown of thorns. So when they tell me who is the greatest of all time, only person I recognize is Jesus Christ. When I decide on whose team I want to be on and what he's done for me, a champion makes champion. My, 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 my greatest of all time, he went out here, he gave me something that no one else could ever give anybody. He died on that cross. Yeah. He shed his blood. Yeah. He had yeah. stripes for me. Oh, That's right. my way. Anytime you want to do something for me, do let me know you're the greatest by what you sacrificed for me, what you give me. He sacrificed his all. He gave us his all. He came down here in flesh and gave himself a living sacrifice for each and every one of us. Yeah. And to be on his team, only thing we have to do, Acts 2 and 38 tells us, what well, we have to do is repent, be baptized, each and every one of us, and be born again, and be and, and be dipped in His Spirit. Also, it tells us in, in John, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son, and whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have life everlasting. Yes. And what I love about this, He's the greatest of all time. He gave us, he gave us directions on what we need to do to, 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 to survive. He gave us offensive directions. He let us know. Hey, Jesus answered him, said to them, take no heed. I'm sorry, that's the uh, Matthew 16, 24, Jesus said unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross yes. and follow me. He lets us know what to do to be on his team. Yes, yes, he gives yes. us defensive measures by letting us know, take no heed, let no man deceive you. Everything we see in this world today, these laws, the things that the world is showing us, these false prophets, these false ministers that are right. giving us bad doctrine. Amen. He lets us know, do not be deceived by any of those things. Amen. So to be on his team, he gave us directives. He told us how to join his team. He gave us the things to do. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. And he also told us how to dress when we're on his team. Yeah. And then, the, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. And, uh, and uh, First Thessalonians, 5, 8, he lets us know just so we dress for the occasion. Right. Let, but, but let us who are of this day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith yeah. and love and for the helmet of hope and righteousness. So he gave you the game plays. Right. He gave you how to join the team. Right. And he let you know what to do with the plays when you're on the team. Right. So that's why he will always be the greatest of all time. Thank you. Oh, 
protective care of you. And Job, I am the purifier. And Psalms, I am the God that deserves praise. Oh, that man would praise the Lord. Jordan and all those folks. 
None of them would exist without Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. None of them would exist without Jesus Christ. Jesus spoke things that did not exist into existence. Yes. Yeah. Is that what I just said? I said God spoke things that did not exist yes. into existence. None of us would have existed. Wow. God yes. spoke Thank you. you. Yeah. Think about Let's think about that. God spoke you into existence. Yeah. Yes. Who, yes. As we look at these scriptures, the God is the creator of life. So, let's think about this. There's no life without Jesus Christ. I said there's no life without Jesus Christ. So if you're thinking about turning back, don't turn back because there's no life. If you don't want to serve God, serve God. Why? Because there's no life without Jesus Christ. He is the greatest. Everything else is a fraud and a fake and a phony. He is the greatest. He is the greatest of all time. God spoke, spoke everything into existence. And I'm just going to stick. I'm going to leave you with this. This is really what I'm going to get to. Think about this. Jesus chose us. Yeah. The greatest created us. Yes. Amen. Wow. What an honor. Yes, that's right. What an honor. Think about it. What an honor. Wow. Wow. What a privilege right. to say, I'm a child of the king. Yes. Yes. What a privilege. Yes. What a privilege to say that I am in the kingdom of God. Yes, right. What a privilege to say that I am a royal priesthood. Yes, right. I am a peculiar people. Yes. It on. is he. And we have to remember this. It is he. Yes. It is Jesus yes. who made us. Right. And not we ourselves. Yes, right. We are the, his people and we are the sheep of his pasture. Yes. When man starts talking about debating who's the greatest right. and Jesus has no debate. Yes. Jesus is the greatest that yes. ever lived. There's no comparison. He stands alone. He's the greatest of all time. He is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And there is no life without Jesus Christ. Amen. Who wants to be on the Jesus Christ team on today? Amen. Who wants to be with the greatest? Who wouldn't want to be with the greatest? Who wouldn't want to be with the greatest? Who? We can all get connected to Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, if you haven't been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for remission of your sins, we ask that you will come today. We'll baptize you. We have water. We're ready to baptize you on today. Amen. If you say, I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but I haven't been filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, come up and let the, let the, let the ministers pray with you Amen. and pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To be a part of the greatest of all time. You have to be in Christ. You have to be in Christ. We should just cry out unto God each and every time we get an opportunity because we want to cry out unto the Lord. The Bible uh, says in, in Acts, and I think Elder Gaddy spoke about it. He said, be baptized, every one of you. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And he said, ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children and all of those that are far off as many as our Lord God shall call. Amen. This is your opportunity to be with the greatest of all time. This is your opportunity to live that life and live that life more abundantly. Amen. This is your opportunity. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, Jesus, and all his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. We ask that you would come down. The Bible says, The day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. This is the day the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice. We shall be glad in it. Don't pass on the opportunity. Don't pass on this opportunity with this great King, the one and only, the greatest of all time, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many are going to tell you you don't need to be baptized. The Bible, this Bible right here, tells you you must be baptized. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Many are going to tell you that you don't need the Holy Ghost. The Bible that we have right here says you must receive the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. This is considered the new birth. You have to have it to be on the team, to be with the greatest. It does us no good to live this life day to day, and week to week, month to month, and year to year, and not be with him. 
Every minister up here has already told you he's the greatest, he's the greatest. Of, all of all time. No one can compare. Yes. No one can compare. Yes. Hallelujah. For those of anyone that are sick in their bodies on the day, you want to let us lay hands on you and pray for you, we'll do that. If you have someone in your family that you want us to pray for, we'll do that. We just want you to be saved. At the end of the day, we just want you to be saved. We want you to be baptized in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We want you to be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Super Soul Sunday. This is Super Soul Sunday, so we want souls. The whole, the whole point of the service is about souls. Amen. It's all about souls. Yes. Don't be afraid to step out. Don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to be up to kill your person. Amen. We have a young Brooklyn young man in the back you want to be prayed for. Amen. Or... Amen. Hey, the day the, what the Bible said, the day you hear my voice, hard not your heart. God give you an opportunity. It may not be another opportunity to come your way. We're not trying to scare you into being saved or nothing like that. But we don't know what's going to happen when we walk out those doors. But we know there's safety in Jesus. There's strength in Jesus. There's peace in Jesus. There's love in Jesus. Content. I can walk out these doors and know that my soul is intact. That's what we got to think about on today. We got to think about our souls and where we're going to spend eternity. I remember an old preacher way back when I was a little boy, she would say, Don't leave out those doors if you ain't in the bosom of Jesus. Don't leave out those doors without Jesus. It was scary. I, I'm just going to be honest. It was scary. I was like, man, I don't want to go out the doors without Jesus. We got to get back to that where we have a fear and admonition for the Lord. Yes, yeah. right. That's right. That's what we that's need right. to get back to. Yes, yes, yes. And that's for those of us who are saved and those of us who are not saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. There'll be no one else. Thank you, ministers. God bless you. I'm going to turn the sacred desk over to our Awesome pastor, Pastor Wendy, our very senior. We thank and praise God for him. We don't have to thank God for the ministers that preach today. Didn't they do a tremendous thing? Thank God for breathing on our men. Come on, let's thank God for all of our ministers today. They brought the word, they brought the fire, and they talked about the greatness of all time. I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't studying Biden. Amen. I ain't studying Obama. Amen. I ain't studying Trump. God. Trump's got a motto, make America great again. That's not my motto. My motto is make Jesus great again. What do you mean? He's already great. Make him great in your life. Put him on the throne of your heart. He's the greatest of all time. He's the only one. I talked about Kobe early. Kobe died. And the world was sad, right? And Kobe couldn't get up again. That's right. But Jesus died. And he got up again. And when he got up, he said, I got all power in heaven and earth in my... It's all in his hand, church. Since the pastor, Minister Virgie, Lady Dean, Elder Gaddy, Ms. Victoria, yes. Elder Clarence Taylor, what a tremendous job in yes. the Word of God. Yes. They, they, they really blessed me today. They really, the ministers really blessed me today. And I'm grateful for them and I'm thankful. I am thankful for every minister of this house. And I speak the blessings of the Lord on each of you that minister His Word. May the Lord restore virtue back into your body. As the servant of the Lord, 
continue to stay in the word, consider, continue to stay consecrated before the Lord, and let the Lord use you with his word. His word brings life. His word is healing, power, and deliverance. Amen. Thank God he's the greatest. I said he's the greatest. <laughs> I ain't getting into argument that who's the greatest. I know who the greatest is. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I've given him a name above every name. There's no name compared to him. We thank God for each of you that have joined us today. Thank God for every family member, every first time guest. We are so honored to have each of you today. All these beautiful young people. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We do have fresh Krispy Kreme donuts. I brought them hot off the press this morning. Got them. They were hot. And they were just, oh my goodness. They're not hot now, but they still fresh. Uh, make sure you get a Krispy Kreme donut before you leave today. We're grateful for each of you. Remember, my wife and I, as we travel this week, will be gone. Um, and But I'm leaving you in capable hands. As you've seen today, you're being left in capable hands. Uh, so let's, let's support. Let's be faithful in my absence, my wife's absence. Be faithful. Remember, you don't serve pastor. You serve the Lord. Amen. I didn't die for you. I'm not the greatest. He is the greatest. We acknowledge Jesus. One of the things the Lord, he said to me when I started you to life, he said, when don't bring people to you. Because so many churches and pastors bring people to them. That's, right. That's not my job right. to bring you to me. My job is to bring you to Jesus Christ. And I want him to say when the Lord comes, and I want y'all to know, hear me, the Lord is coming soon. The signs of the times are all around us. The Lord is coming soon. And we got to be ready when he comes. I don't want to see nobody in my family lost. Let me say this. And to all of our guests that are here today, first time guests and those that have, that have been here, they're not, it's not their first time, but hear me. There's nothing more better than walking with the Lord. You can smoke you can drink, right. you can have a sleep with people, but it will never fulfill right. the void in your soul. Right. Right. Alcohol will never fulfill the void in your soul. Right. Marijuana will never fulfill the void in your soul. Right. A man or a woman will never fill the void in your soul. Right. That void that you long for is really Jesus. Right. Right. And when you get him, you don't be good no, you will never be thirsty again. If you smoke marijuana, you're going to get thirsty again. Right. If you drink liquor, you're going to get thirsty again. You sleep with that boy, that girl, you're going to get thirsty again. But once you drink of the Lord's cup, do I have any witnesses in here to know I tried Jesus for myself? He is the greatest. He's great in my life and great to be prayed. Do we have a baptism today? Praise the Lord. Fallon came up and said she wanted to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, church. Let's give God a praise. Fallon, believe it or not, I was thinking about you today. This morning, I was thinking about you. I was thinking about Jake. I'm a, Janiah, yeah. I don't know why I had a brain fart real quick. I was thinking about Janiah. I was thinking about the miracle baby yeah. in this ministry. Yeah. That's a miracle baby. When she was born. She was little, probably just as little as my hand. She was a little tiny little thing. And I went to the hospital. She had tubes running in her nose as a little baby. Looking like death. But we prayed. And we called on the greatest of all time. And we laid hands on her. We prayed for this child. We prayed for this baby. The doctors told Deanna to get rid of the baby. To have an abortion because the baby ain't going to be, the baby's going to be, so I don't know all what the doctor said, but the doctor encouraged her to have an abortion. She said, Pastor, I don't want to have an abortion. I said, don't have one. We're going to pray and we're going to trust God. I'm telling you, God still works miracles. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the world says. God is still a miracle worker. Now, Tyler stands here. 
here. And said, I want to be baptized in Jesus' name. And we're grateful. We're going to baptize this baby. Come on, elders, and meet you. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, I need the church. Just pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is what it's about, the soul. Can I tell you, she's doing one of the greatest things you could ever do. The greatest thing ain't getting money. The greatest thing ain't getting married. The greatest thing is giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When you commit your ways to the Lord, he will take care of you. Can I tell you something? God takes care of his children. God takes care of his children. We're going to baptize Fallon in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't baptize in titles. Many churches baptize and they say in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We don't do that. The Bible says baptized in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. There's only one name, and that is Jesus. We don't say titles. We say the name. That is heaven's legal name of salvation. So when we pray, when we baptize somebody, we say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then he tells us why. Peter tells us as he writes, as the book of Acts is written, we baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. When you get baptized, every sin you commit is forgiven. It washed away by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Dear, pray for a family right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, the water may be a little cold, but it's going to be all right. We don't have you there too long, okay? Why don't you sit down on this little stool right here? Get a stool. You sit down. I want you to cross your hands. I want you to plug your nose so the water won't get in your nose. I need you to just hold yourself like that. My dear, beloved sister family, with the confession of your faith. And I got to ask you, Dallin, do you confess Jesus as Savior and Lord? Yes? All right. Okay, grab your nose. And the confession of your faith, the confidence we have in the blessed word of God concerning his death, his burial, and resurrection. I now indeed baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of the sin of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus Christ. Because you enjoy being here. 
and you wouldn't come back again, right? Come on, come on, come on back again. And let the Lord work in your life. He's the, I'm telling you right now, I think it was James Cleveland, the gospel singer, that sang a song, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. And I'm telling you, is that right, Israel? It was, it was James Cleveland. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Dominique, I'm glad to see you today. Yeah, yeah. See Dominique in a minute, so glad yeah. to see you. God is so good, church. Yeah. God is so good. Church, keep on inviting, keep on compelling, keep on witnessing, keep on ministering to people. Yeah. Keep talking about Jesus. Yeah. While they're talking about all these other people that wouldn't be who they are, like the minister said, they wouldn't be who they are without Jesus. Yeah. We're going to proclaim and make the name of Jesus great. In my generation, I have vowed to make the name of Jesus great. Will you help me? Will you help me? Father, we thank you again. Thank you for those that have gathered here today. We love you, Lord. We bless you. We thank you for the church family. We thank you for all of our guests. We thank you for our first-time guests. God, we ask that the words and the seeds of the word that have been planted today you said one plants, one waters, but you give the increase. God, continue to let that word grow and form in them. Give us a heart and a desire to serve you like never before. God, we thank you for each individual, each family represented here. We thank you for the young people that are here today. Thank you for each family member that's here today. Bless your blessings and your, your hand of protection be upon them. And more than anything, give us a heart, give us a mind. To serve you. You're the greatest. We acknowledge you as the greatest. Not us, you. In you we live, move, and have our being. Keep us safe. Keep our families safe. And God, we thank you. Until it be your will that we return at the appointed time. Be glorified in our life. And we thank you in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.